Okay. All right. Surprise me. What year is it supposed to be? Word in your shell like pal. Big mistake. Yeah? What about this? Oh. <laughs> they reckon you got concussion. Well, I couldn't give a tart's dirty cup if half your brains are falling out. Don't ever <clears throat> waltz into my kingdom, acting king of the jungle. Who the hell are you? Gene Hunt, your DCI, and it's 1973, almost dinner time. I'm having oops. That's funny. Anything happens to this motor, and I come over your houses and stamp on all your toys. Got it? Good kids. Hello, love. CID. We're looking for this woman, Dora Keynes. Approximately five foot two, curly brown hair, hazel eyes, fake topaz necklace. We're looking for a short, skinny bird. Where's a big colt? Lots of golf. Excellent work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Piece of scum, bastard scum! Do you? Do you treat me like this? You filthy, stinking, pig sucking, rotten, bleeding filth! You filth! Rotten, bloody filth! Your mum's filth! And your kids are filth! Mrs. Trent, why don't you just tell us where we can find your nephew? Piss off! Look, if you help me, then I can call him off. Oh, dear. You filthy, pervert, nonce pig! Look, why don't you just give us a name, love, eh? Pub called a coachman. Oi. Coachman. Smashing. Thanks for your help, love. You're a set of bastards, both of you. Do you know that? Shut up. <laughs> Just point. You don't even have to point. If you see Trent, just tap the side of the van. That's a formal identification. Can I have an ice cream, please? And me. And me. You are surrounded by armed bastards! On yours! Hey. Who the hell are you? Is there anything in this world more revolting than a dishonest hippie? We don't want any trouble, man. Do you know what I'd do if I were you? Apart from wash me hair, obviously. What? I'd pack my shitty unironed clothes and I'd be out of this city by daybreak. I'd take it. Don't you bloody dare come the self-righteous prick with me. I've been working these streets since I was 19 and I'm telling you they're safer now than they've been in a generation. Now, if you want to shag the inmates, that's up to you, but don't you dare chug shit at me or my officers. We're not talking about a dodgy telly. We're talking about threats of sexual violence and murder. You think you know everything, don't you? I know the stench of rotten apples. Yeah. And I know your slag is lying through her teeth, and do you want to know why? Yeah, why? Stephen Warren is a bomb bandit. Do you understand? A puff, a fairy, a queer, a queen, fudge packer, uphill gardener, fruit picking sodomite. It's gay. As a bloody Christmas tree. Mind you, he is a little touchy on the subject, being a twisted Catholic with an elderly mother and all, so I wouldn't go mentioning it to him. Uh, uh, I'm not a Catholic myself, Mr Bonham, but isn't there something about thou shalt not suck off rent, boys? How dare you come in here! You could have said that to the boy. I'm doing.
see that? Definitely offside. Your oh, Nick Sunbeam. Come on. Chris, take him away. Charge him. Oh. I'll do it. I'm arresting you for the theft of a motor vehicle, resisting arrest and driving like a div. You're not allowed to say anything unless you wish to do so. Anything you may say may be taken in evidence. Little sod. Should bring back national service. What? Take him away? Teach him how to kill people? Didn't do me any harm. Teach him some manners. Yes, Carlin. Oi! Referee! Has anyone ever told you you need glasses, you dozy git? Next time, I'll run you over. Go! <laughs> Think you'd better take this. Plugger found a body in Trafford Park. Uh, somebody help us. I'll leave him. With his kid always stayed in goal. Found this. United. Well, whoever did it, at least he had a decent motive. United are playing City on Saturday. Some poor sod always gets a good kick in. But that's just it, he didn't. If this was about football, he would have had serious injuries. He's dead. That's quite serious. Colin... Oh. Put the gun down, Reg. Ah. Ah. Somebody call an ambulance. <sighs> it can't be come. It wasn't supposed to... Someone dies two o'clock. It, 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 was, it wasn't supposed to... What's that all over him? Scotch. He's bleeding whiskey. That was the guff's collar. I want that known. Have you got that? Have you got that? Ugh. And I want Love Me Tender played at my funeral. <sighs> that was lucky, eh? <sighs> what, are the, what are the chances? Pretty good, actually. Go, 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 go! Come on! Come on! Oh, you paid for that? Come on! It's a bloody shitty! I'm on him! He's the daylight! He's the daylight! Oh, bollocks. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> How are you, Billy Boy? Long time no see. I think you've forgotten who you're talking to. An overweight. Over the hill, nicotine-stained, borderline alcoholic, homophobe, with a superiority complex and an unhealthy obsession with male bonding. You make that sound like a bad thing. You want strike? Come on, hands off, you dingling. We've had another shout. Well, seeing as though you broke my door down, I take it it's big. I shall he went his ass. I've seen cesspits with more brains. This was supposed to be a simple job. It was a stitch-up. Somebody knew what we were doing. Yes, thank you, Dorothy. I think we worked that out. I just thought three of my finest might have put up a better fight. Should have taken Cartwright with you. She could have flashed her tits and stopped him. How's your first day, pal? If you want to search the place, help yourself. Only, uh, maybe don't let on it was me that called you. Mostly Irish fellas work for me here. I don't want them getting the wrong end of the stick. I rely on them a lot. Don't you worry, Frank. Discretion's our middle name. Top of the morning to you, lads. Know anything about some missing dynamite? Oh, Alpha one to base. Phyllis, get a unit over to Miller's yard. Get them to hold in all the paddies for questioning. Over. Gov, if you piss off those Irish workers, you just piss off the whole community, and then we'll get nowhere. 
We have to tread carefully. Some bastards somewhere have got over 40 pound in dynamite which they could use to blow up innocent people, just like they did to Ray. And you're asking me to tread carefully. Take your own advice, Sam. Wake up and smell the cocoa. Now let's search this shit all and nail these paddy bastards. It's coffee. 